Welcome home Rat Pack, Marcus here and welcome to Comfort Cartoons today. I couldn't be more excited. We are going to be opening up this entire, oh, oh, it hurts, gymnasium size container. Oh my goodness. It looks like the front of a truck. This giant container that is completely filled with Jimmy Neutron merchandise. I could not be more pumped because we never get to cover Jimmy Neutron on this show. And as I talked about in the previous episode, of this series that I'm calling the Jimmy Timmy Power Hour, where I covered a bunch of Fairly Odd Parents items. That video is on the channel. I talked about how the holy trinity for me growing up was SpongeBob on top, Jimmy Neutron, and Fairly Odd Parents. Those were my favorite shows and encapsulated my fandom and cemented me as a Nickelodeon fan for life. And we covered Fairly Odd Parents super heavy in that video. And there's a second part coming out, but this video is going to be all about Jimbo. <laughs> gonna be about the man with the noggin aka uh johnny quasar here <laughs> jimmy neutron and the jimmy timmy power hour will be a whole playlist here on the channel this is the first part there will be a second part i just thought it would be a really cool idea to make it a jimmy timmy power hour by combining these two two-part series together making it that jimmy timmy power hour i'm really proud of that um i thought about that right at the beginning i, I knew it from the start it was just gonna be perfect and Anyway, despite me figuring out the name of this series midway through, we're gonna get into it. Let's check it out. Okay, so let's get right into it. Our first item. Ah, it's so freaking dope. Like, man, did we have some cool stuff in the 2000s? We have Jimmy's Vox security system. This is literally like a spy level security system for your door. <laughs> Many of you guys may know, of course, in Jimmy Neutron, how Jimmy gets into his lab is he actually plugs a little piece of his hair and puts it up to the scanner. It looks very similar to this one right here. It identifies his exact DNA, which allows him to get into the lab. But this one is based off of your hand. So again, this whole collection came from the man, the legend of this community named Proxy, a friend of mine and a member of this community, like I said. And he is a fan of saran wrap. So let me unsaran wrap it first so we can check it out a little bit better. And what's interesting with a lot of Jimmy's products is they are most of the time actually before the show was even on on air. Uh, from what I know, Jimmy Neutron, well, Jimmy, come help us out. He helps us out in a lot of videos, but the day's perfect. What year did Jimmy Neutron actually air? I want to say like 2002, but this product here is from 2001. So it was a product that came out to kind of capitalize off of the Jimmy Neutron movie as kind of a segue piece once the show was out. So people had some merch to go with it, which worked so well. So right here, you guys can see it. I mean, you put your hand right here. You can Intruders. <laughs> Dang! I didn't expect it to actually work, to be honest. Usually the batteries are always dead. So how it works is you put your hand down in it and you press down different fingers at a different time and it essentially gives you like a code to be able to unlock the door. I mean, realistically, it probably doesn't hook up to your lock. I, I, it doesn't for sure. So your mom can still open the door, but <laughs> you can kind of set some ground rules for your siblings and say, hey, you got to know the code to get in. It's just fun when you're a kid to kind of have some kind of control over your life it feels like but i gotta say uh my hands have gotten a, a bit bigger <laughs> since when i was a kid so it would be kind of tough to to fit that in there but we can, we can try and just go for all four at the same time and see what happens scanning scanning Welcome. You hey. have had many intruders. <laughs> you have had many intruders. So if, if a lot of people messed up the code in that day, it'll also tell you, hey, like, you know, you might want to look around because we've had a lot of intruders in here in your lab, okay? It looks like when it comes out of the box, all you need to do is press all four buttons, but then you can then eventually add in your own secret code. There's also some like little, like a little opening right here, which I don't know what that's for. I don't know. It's like a little compartment. I think it's the on and off switch so you can turn it on and off. What a breach in security. Come Come on, man. If I was a kid, I would have melted that thing together so no one could turn it off. <laughs> what a freaking scam. But of course, for a display piece, this is just unbelievably awesome. Jimmy's actual security system. Item ranking on a scale of 1 to 10. We're going to give it a 10 out of 10 for the Vox 2000. Okay, so we have some smaller paper articles here. So let's grab this stuff out. We have the Jimmy Neutron Wendy's bags here. So these were bags that you actually could have gotten at Wendy's had you gone during their promotion 
there. I'm not 100% sure what toys were actually at Wendy's because I'm more familiar with the Burger King toys, but this is actually another Wendy's bag here. And it looks like this one's more in promotion of the TV show, but in classic Jimmy Neutron fashion, every single thing outside the TV show, Cindy has her movie 3D mold with her, her dual ponytail, but this one's from Wendy's as well. This is the one I'm more familiar with, which is the Burger King collab. You can see the classic Burger King bag there with Jimmy on it. Again, Cindy there. This is like during the Negatron episode and she still got the movie here. <laughs> but during the Burger King collab, you could actually make this Jimmy Neutron's rocket. We've got one in the collection I'll show you guys, but just iconic. It has a little puzzle kind of displaying how you could build the ship right there. You got Cindy there next to Jimmy's monitor. What is this? A secret Cindy scramble. Jimmy's latest invention has scrambled everyone's name in Retroville. How will Cindy fix it by unscrambling the names below? Oh man, so here's our names here. Whew, that is a tough one. Clar, Clar. Who the heck could be Clar? Clar? Oh, <laughs> he went flying. Well, that's not it. Um, but I, I do think I am gonna try that later. Also, isn't that the wrong show? Oh yeah. Think, think, think. Ah, there it is, Chaz Finster. I mean, come on, they're pretty similar, right? I, I mean, I don't know, whose name is that? You let me know in the comments down below. Okay, so now this is where it's going to get wild. These are the Jimmy Neutron action figures. And these as well came out 2002. And some of the technology that you see Jimmy actually use in some of his figures appears in these action figures way before they ever actually appeared in the series. And our first one here is probably the most rare of all of them. Oh man, that is crazy. Cool. I have always wanted to have this one. It is beautiful. And that is the Ultra Lord Sheen. This is Ultra Lord. I mean, the man who got his own spinoff several years after the show was off because he was such a fan loved character. Sheen. He looks so awesome with his Ultra Lord helmet on. He's got his classic Ultra Lord shirt on, as well as the vest to go with it. And I'm not doing pricing in these videos, but I can tell you that at least on this one, I've seen this figure go for like like up to and over a hundred dollars before. So this is like one of the grail pieces. And I say that more just to kind of show how big of a fandom Sheen actually has. There's a reason why they made Planet Sheen. People loved Sheen, I love Sheen. And like with the Fairly Odd Parents figures, they're not the easiest characters to really make into figures and make them look good. And they've successfully done it. And I love how in the background there, you've got the Neutron logo and it kind of gives it like a 3D effect because the Neutron logo expands onto the plastic here, down to show you that Sheen could put on the Ultra Lord mask, and it just makes the packaging look that much more beautiful. But these are the big figures, so right there we got Sheen. Okay, next up here, oh yes, one of the sickest villains in Nickelodeon history. And this is the Yokian King here. When did it become acceptable to approach my royal throne unannounced? So right here we have him. He looks so awesome. You guys know I'm a big fan of characters with like domes because it's just so satisfying knowing that there's that little piece inside of there that like had to be sculpted and then inserted inside of that shell. And of course the Yokians are based off of like an egg and their overlord leader uh, and real power is in their in their beast that they control, Poultra. And Poultra is kind of the main villain uh, and main hurdle they have to get over in, in the movie. But the Yokians, for people that didn't watch the Jimmy Neutron series, the Yokians actually came back to Retroville in the TV series series and actually won over all of the citizens of Retroville because uh let's be honest besides Jimmy most people in that show <laughs> in Retroville are really dumb <laughs> Rockets are flying things. And on this one, you can kind of see that the actual box is themed to look like a rocket ship, which I think that one's different from the from the Sheen one, but equally as cool for the overall branding. So now we've got the Yoki in, and we've got the complete set here. The next one up is the coolest guy in Retroville, which is Nick Dean. Oh my, am I? But he's got this like fight the power uh, stance going on there. He's got his headphones we often saw him with as well as like his like Walkman CD player. But he is a really interesting character uh, to have included in here just in general. Let's go ahead and read this. It says, Nick might not be the smartest kid in school, but he is the king of cool. Even Jimmy is amazed at how he can defy gravity on the regular with his kid powered skateboard. And I think without knowing for sure, I think his skateboard actually might like magnetically connect to his feet.
feet, which is a really cool detail. But it's a strange character to give a figure. He's got like a next level product like Sheen here. And within this whole set, there's not even a Carl figure. There's not even um, a Cindy or a Livy, but there's a Nick figure, which for me as a, as a collector, I love stuff like this. I love when the odd characters uh, get their own figures. And Cindy, Carl, uh, and, and some of the other characters do get them and some mini figures we'll be showing maybe in part two. But for this big stature figure, they went with Nick. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not 100% sure why, but I, I'm, I'm kind of here for it. So the next character we have is Goddard. And on the back of this one, I was able to see there is actually a Carl. So I'm just missing the Carl figure. And I should have the entire Jimmy Neutron figure line. And it looks like he's got like rocket shoes on or something. <laughs> but I need to find that Carl for sure. But the next character we have is Goddard, the iconic dog. The <laughs> you hear at the end of the theme song. You guys let me know who's the most iconic Nickelodeon dog. Is it Dog from Cat Dog? Is it uh, Spike from Rugrats? Is it Jimmy's dog Goddard? I mean, we'll throw Abner in there, which is uh, Arnold's uh, pig. <laughs> out of lack of uh, dog options. Who's the best Nickelodeon dog in the comments? Have you seen Blue, my puppy? But nonetheless, we got three Goddards here. So let's go and start off with this rocket shaped one. It says Goddard is one handy hound to have around. <laughs> you see what you see what they're doing here with the rhyming, you know? Not the smartest kid in school, but the king of cool. Uh, they kind of did that a lot with these 2000s Nickelodeon products. We saw it often in the DVDs. Um, a lot of uh, puns and rhyming to, because that was just one of their marketing techniques techniques back then <laughs> that didn't really live long. But I mean, hey, I guess it worked. I'm still here, like freaking the 30, still opening up uh, Nickelodeon figures. I mean, hey, what do I know? <laughs> I'm obviously not the marketing king. <laughs> but there's Goddard there. He's a sky cycle. Really cool. You, of course, always see Jimmy. When he's not taking his rocket for the more short trips, you see him riding around on Goddard. My only thing about the Goddard ones is I wish they would have done some of the other characters. It did do Carl. I'll give him that. But I would have loved to have seen a Cindy with like a karate outfit, maybe a Libby. That would have been cool. Heck, I mean, he wasn't probably around at that time, but I would take a Bobby. <laughs> He was the original Fred Fred Burger in like cheese. But we also got this Goddard, which is the, the grip grappler Goddard that shoots out this little like grappling hook. And the mechanics for that is super simple too. It's kind of just like one of those lanyards, you know, like you're, you you have it like work or at school that pull it out, you scan it in or you show somebody and then it just like sucks back up and retracts. Essentially a yo-yo ball. <laughs> in the 2000s, they went crazy when people figured out that you could make a string do that. So we had a lot of stuff that came with that stuff. And that's kind of what this is. I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10 too. I'm going to give both Goddards an 8 out of 10 here. And I'll give this one a 9 out of 10 because this is actually Go Boom Goddard, which I don't remember if he actually says Go Bam. I feel like he says Go Boom. Boy, but Goddard did have a built-in self-destruct system. It would, Jimmy often used it to get rid of evidence or just to kind of get Goddard out of the situation. And he's also able to rebuild himself right after. I'm gonna give this one a nine, slightly higher than the other two Goddard figures. But I think realistically, if you want the ultimate Goddard, the full-size Goddard they have in the same Jimmy Neutron line is definitely the best one. We have this one in the cavern here. I do need to find one eventually still in the box. That one came in the box and I opened it, but I mean, come on, it looks pretty sick out of the box. <laughs> it's the closest thing you can get to a real life Goddard. So with that one being in existence, I think that I would have loved to see some other characters into this form factor and maybe just one Goddard. But nonetheless, we do need to complete this set and we have all three here. This one we've got is Scooter Pack Jimmy, which is also an awesome, like he had so many freaking sweet inventions. I do remember him using his backpack as a jet pack usually, which when he went to college, he found out that of course, as all college kids do, everybody's got a jet pack. But I don't really remember him using it as a scooter, uh, to be honest with you but it's still pretty sweet he's got his goggles right there and the jimmy figure just looks amazing if you compare that to some of the other early jimmy figures like this one like if you put them side by side i think they really started to get his design down a little bit like uh from the first version to the final there's a huge difference here and a huge difference in iq visually um i would suspect <laughs> One of them looks a little bit uh, duller than the other. So there's Scooter Jimmy. We've got Helipack Jimmy. And this one looks like it would be so much fun to use. And it, man, they had it going with this one. I guess this is the Neutron one. These ones are from 2001. These are from 2002. So you can see it kind of reverts back to that first generation derpy look. It gives you like regular show action figure vibes. But they obviously knew they had something wrong with the figures. And some people must have pointed it out. Because look at that comparatively to this. Like the coloring, it looks better. Eyebrows, the eyes themselves. You just look 
so much cuter than this version of Jimmy. This looks more like Jimmy when he gets all of his intelligence sucked out of his brain. Barney monkey. Uh, nonetheless, the sunglasses are a cool look. Look at the back right there. He looks so much better with his eyes covered. The more of that face you can cover, the better, old Jimmy. And why does his hair look so glossy in that freaking first model? That looks like a drop of Hershey's chocolate drip comparatively to the matte look that his actual final hair kind of has. Same thing for his forehead, man. He's got that stuff that like bald people rub on their head like Michael Jordan where you can like see the, the reflection of the sky and the stars above you in the top of their head because it's just so shiny. Like where do, what do you buy for that? Is that like virgin olive oil or something? What do you put there? Jimmy got that virgin olive oil forehead. So there we go, this one right here. And then this Jimmy is also from that 2002 line. So you can see he, his adorableness has returned. And this one looks like it'd be so much fun to use. You got Jimmy here shooting out the little rocket darts. And if I'm correct, these are the same darts that are inside of the Jimmy Neutron goo dart game. I don't know if these are goo darts. They look like these might be suction cup darts, but it's the same style of darts they had in that game. And it turns his boom box into a rocket launcher, which is just the most Jimmy Neutron thing ever from uh, his, his Astro Ranger boom box. And then he's got this shirt on that I feel like I've never seen him. I feel like I've never seen him wear that shirt before. Take that shirt off, Jimmy. Freaking me out. Why does he have that shirt? Like, you see him wear this shirt. Well, honestly, what shirt does he usually wear? It's always the red shirt, right? Like, what are all these shirts? I think he might wear this one in the movie. Movie, but that's my Jimmy. Well, no, what is this red, sh this white stripe freaking shirt, Jimmy? Why does none of them have his regular shirt? The only one that has his regular shirt is freaking Jimmy right here with the classic shirt. <laughs> Nonetheless, that's the entire line. And oh my goodness, so let's just spread them out here. This is freaking beautiful. Oh man, I finally understand what that girl song, I can't remember her name, but the, the, the song that goes, Hey now, hey now, this is what dreams are made of. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys. Hey now, hey now, this is what dreams are made of. Oh! <laughs> It's so sick. Oh my gosh, the level of Neutron, the level of Jimbo is incredible. I'm not gonna lie, Nick, you really stand out amongst this group, but nonetheless, a beautiful set that we have here. And I think that we have one more item to sum up for this part, because man, it took a while to go through all these big figures, but we have part two coming out, so stay tuned for that. Let's go ahead and take our last item here. And during this time, you had a lot of the big Nickelodeon shows that were on being SpongeBob, rocket power fairly odd parents jimmy actually got one of those classic quarter machine figures you guys know i've showed a lot of them on this channel whether it be these uh spongebob money stickers or some of these other spongebob stickers that you put in the machine you twist the quarters around and for 50 cents you get a little figure a sticker some kind of little uh trinket a knickknack if you will a knickknack paddywhack yak yak you remember that show yak 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 probably like something just burnt out of my brain and the only thing that i can think about now is, is yak 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 yakety yak. Anyway, <laughs> but Jimmy got one of those figures too. And this is the display for the Nicktoons figure. So you can see you've got Rocket Power in there. You've got SpongeBob. And then of course you got Jimmy. I mean, you don't got a lot of Jimmy in there. You got Jimmy and Goddard. I mean, if you go based off the figures, that, that is a, apparently just sums up Jimmy Neutron. It's just Jimmy and Goddard. <laughs> but stay tuned for part two, guys. I have some incredible stuff in this one. We have some signed figures that are going to be featured in part two, as well as a poster in this tube that is actually going to blow your freaking mind. I cannot wait for you guys to see it. My favorite items from today's video, I have to say, have to go to the Sheen figure because it just looks so sick with the Ultra Lord mask. The Jetpack Backpack Jimmy because that's just classic. The Yokian and my boy Big Nick. <laughs> Why not? We'll give it to Big Nick. But I think topping the chart though, oh man, like if I ever find one of these in the wild, that is going on the outside of the door of the cavern. That is too freaking cool. I could never bring myself to open this one, but if I could find one loose on eBay or something for a good price, that would make a really sweet outdoor piece. Maybe create like a little tiny bit of a lip so that way there's a little bit of rain shelter for it, but kind of as an outdoor model to begin with. 
that would just be sweet. But on that note, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new here. You will see a part two come up very soon. And in that part two, I'll also be redesigning some sections of the cavern here in order to incorporate these Jimmy Neutron figures into the collection. I've always wanted to represent Jimmy and I, I don't think there's anything better than this stuff that we have here in this container. If you guys want to support the show further, you can also go check out my Patreon, which is down below. You can sign up for only $2 a month. And when you do, you get extended versions of every single video. You get early releases of videos as well as 100% ad free. And you get invited to our Discord where you can come hang out with us. But ultimately, it's just a way to support the show and helps me keep creating the content that I do right here on YouTube and lets me make the content with you in mind. Sometimes when I do a video like this that isn't maybe the most like commonplace things that I know are gonna get a lot of views comparatively to like SpongeBob or some of the mystery boxes or the opening, some stuff like this is a little bit more dangerous to do for the algorithm. And I'm only able to do that stuff due to the support of Patreon. And ultimately this channel is a passion project for me. So doing stuff like this really feeds into that passion for me, being able to cover something so unique and different. That's a huge part of my Nickelodeon love. So thank you so much to the people on Patreon already. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. The more support we get on Patreon, the more videos I can make just based off of what I think would be fun and random to do rather than having to think about what the algorithm is gonna do like and not like. So thank you guys again. I love you guys, appreciate you. You can also check out my whatnot stream where I'm live every single Friday, that link's down below. But on that note, you know the drill, scan it. All right, so thank you so much for watching this video. Appreciate you. If you guys can hit the like button, subscribe yet again. The link down below for Patreon is right on the top. You can check that out. I'll see you guys in this video right here that I know you're gonna love. It's gonna take you to the start of this Jimmy Timmy Power Hour series. If you wanna see more about Jimmy Neutron, part two could already be out and that'll take you over there. And if you wanna see the first parts of these being the Fairly Odd Parents section, that will be over there as well too. But again, as always, I'll see you beautiful people in the next one. Adios and...